Huh? What is it now? Wasn't the game supposed to have started already? Yeah, well, yes. But the junk press broke down, and we thought we'd use the time for a little tutorial. Who thought that? I don't need no stinking tutorials. So how are you going to fix the junk press? Just watch me and learn. Maybe you want to listen to what I have to say first? But you don't have anything to say. Oh, come on. It won't be long. Just point the cursor at me and left click. We'll see about that. Computer, talk to Wenzel. You don't have to say that explicitly. Um, who's talking to you? Why, you are. You clicked on me. Smarty pants, just tell me what's wrong with the junk press. And stop wiggling your feet. It's pressing only very gently now and doesn't really squish sufficiently. Hey, every idiot can see that. Well, why don't you present the tutorial then? Okay, piece of cake. But first, I'll explain... Um, how to look at an object. I know that. I see. And how? I point my cursor at it and right-click when I see the eye icon. Well, the theory is easy, but how about the actual practice? Hey, this is your tutorial. You're a cop-out, but be that as it may, I'll demonstrate. Uh, do you see that little uh, thingy on the floor over there? I will now use the... Um, tongue icon. The eye icon. Yeah, I will now click on it, thusly having a look at it. So, you better watch closely. What's that? It's a cathode plunger. Thanks for the input, Wenzel, but I recognize a hydro clamp duplexer when I see one. Too bad I can only look at it. A duplexer like that could be useful. You can pick it up. You just have to point your cursor at it so the hand icon appears. If you left click now, you'll pick it up. There has to be an easier way. If you say so. Okay, I've picked up the duplexer, but what am I supposed to do with it now? You put it into your inventory. That's where all the items go. You've picked up that object. Now you can open your inventory by using your mouse wheel. Hey, there it is! Correct! This is your inventory. Yeah, I knew that. It's where you can see what you're carrying around. You still know how to do that, don't you? What am I supposed to do with this? Mm, it looks like a broken spare part. Well, then watch me fix it. Look, Wenzel, I'm almost done. Impressive. But I mean that. Huh, it fits. Now you have to... Hey, you don't have to spoon-feed me. I'll manage the rest. If you say so. Uh, Rufus, there's one more thing. I told you I'd manage without your help. Now, all I have to do is press this button here, and right away... Oh, how I love tutorials! It's kind of pathetic, you get all erratic About dirty dishes congesting the sink I'm tired of your bothers, remember our fathers They dwelled in a world filled with rubbish and stink But when all hope was lost, someone raised from the dust He was handsome and cunning, his haircut had style Courage was shining in his eyes As he said, screw you guys, mind your own business I'm off now, goodbye Huzzah, he's off now, goodbye Junk. Junk. And more junk. A life of order and happiness. Oh, my bad. That was junk, too. <sighs> well, that does it. I need to leave this dump. Fortunately, this time my plan is foolproof. This time everything will work out. Where did I put my list? Heck, I really have to get away from this junkyard.
Ah, there's my list. Let's see. Seems like I've packed almost everything I need. All I need now are some provisions. The toothbrush, a pair of socks, and a bolt cutter. A bolt cutter? What the... Well, guess I must have had a reason to put it on the list. Huh. My old escape plans. Some of them weren't half bad. The oil is rancid. I could use it for hair wax. The best thing about it is the can. My father left me a trunk before he left me. I don't want to open it. I don't want to be disappointed yet again. Another note from Tony. And what's she complaining about now? Will you please clean the bathroom for once? Yeah, right, in her dreams. Whoa! What the? The toothbrush bailed out on me. Guess I should have kept it in a more germ-free environment. I usually leave that stuff for Tony. I've only used it once. But all my clothes got discolored, and the shed burned down. A bolt cutter is a pretty useless gadget, if you think about it. Whoa, what's that? A guillotine so I won't enter her room? Whoa, that girl has issues. I honestly wonder why we were ever together, at all. Stay out of my room. You have no business in there anymore. Who does Tony think she is? I've got better things to do than rummage through her drawers. Hmm, locked. Tony must have the key. You're not supposed to eat on the sofa. I keep finding leftovers in it. Huh? Well, isn't that a good thing? <laughs> Let's get rid of this thing. Do the dishes already. They won't do themselves. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll take that chance. You've scoffed all the food yet again, and I keep finding your crap in the fridge. What the hell's wrong with you? Huh? I don't understand the question. These coats are incredible. Unbelievable how much stuff you can cram into the pockets. I'll have a quick look. See if I can find something useful in the pockets. Hey, there really was something in there. A sock. Cool. Huh. Seems there are still some wasabi peas in there. I guess these will make good provisions for the journey. Ouch!
<laughs> now the little bugger's in for a surprise. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Ha! Gotcha! Ha! Gotcha! I'll make you suffer the next time I brush my teeth. What's this? A sock? That explains why I've had such cheesy dreams. I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot wash. But, something's still missing. That's pretty weird. Either I must have... In you go! I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot wash. But, something's still missing. I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot... Oh, look at that! The sock changed color. Who would have thought it? But where's the other one? Oh, clear case of sacrificial color mixing. Provisions, check. Bolt cutter, for whatever reason, check. Socks, check. Toothbrush, check. Ha! <laughs> Seems like I've packed everything. Oh, I can't close it anymore. Seems like I've got to unpack something, but what? I'll never be able to close the suitcase with a monster like that in there. I mean, I won't need a bolt cutter where I'm going. I wonder why it was on the list in the first place. <laughs> now it fits. Packed and ready to go. I think I just strained something. <laughs> hey, Rufus, you should save your energy for the unavoidable drop into the abyss. Yeah, thanks, Wenzel. You can save your sarcasm for someone less well-prepared than me. This time, I took everything into account. It'll be a stroll in the park. Ah, that's what you said last time. It took us days to remove the cactus spikes from your butt, remember? That's all toxic runoff under the bridge. This time, everything will work out. And when finally, an Elysian Orbit Pixie massages my back, I'll ask her to pause for a minute so I can laugh about you. Whatever. But say, can I have your stuff when you're gone? Yeah, sure, help yourself. As if anything in this dump is valuable. It's time for me to leave all this behind. Great. 
I hope you remember to calibrate the harpoon. I'll do that later, after I've stored everything in the pod. Well, then hurry up. <laughs> well, you know that the Organon are always on time. My trusty wrench. I wonder why this wasn't on the list. <laughs> well, never mind. I gotta make room for my luggage somehow. There, and now? Now, all I have to do is... There, now where shall I put it? There we go. Hmm, I might be able to do without this. Hey, Wenzel. What's up? Any signs of the Organon yet? Nope, but they'll be here. The Organon are always on time. It's no accident that we set the town hall clock by them. What else do you know about the Organon? Just as little as you. So that's really nothing. Exactly. Their motives are as unclear as our water. Good thing they leave us alone. See you later, Wenzel. You've always been a loyal companion. My friend. My helper. My sidekick. I was your sidekick? I always thought you were my sidekick. What? I guess you're probably sad that you can't come along. But let's not get sentimental. Eh, no fear of that. At least you promised me all your stuff. A small consolation for such an enormous loss. Do you also think there are boundless riches in Elysium? Don't know. I'm happy with what I got. Yeah, but I will have so much more. Aw, poor, poor Wenzel. And do you also think that no one has to work in Elysium? Just a moment. You're not even working now. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> I'm meant to be up there. And don't you think the Elysian women are the most beautiful of all? I've never really understood why Tony and you aren't together anymore. Yeah, well that's why you'll be rotting in this forsaken hole forever. I deserve better than having to listen to lectures about my laziness and my unreliability all the time. About the plan. Are there any problems? Problems? No, 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 no. The plan is perfect. But... Where shall I put the battery? Couldn't you have thought of building a compartment or something before? I had other things on my mind, okay? You slept through the whole afternoon while I assembled the telescope. Well, I have to feel rested when I get to Elysium. Of course you have. Anything else? Where shall I... Couldn't you have... I had other... You slept... Well, I have... Uh, anything else? Now, what... We wait for the Organon Cruiser. As soon as it's here, you light the fuse and jump into the cockpit. You have calibrated the harpoon, right? Not yet, but there'll be plenty of time for that. Uh, if you say so. All right. Pack, calibrate, light fuse, and... I'll launch myself into the upper spheres! Well, at least there's a chance that the magnet will hit the cruiser, but... No buts. This time, everything will work. I'll show you. I'll show everybody. It will be a spectacle, no doubt. Any other problems? This time, it'll work out. I just know it. Sure, Rufus. Of course. No problems. Why? Of course not. Of course. How could I ever think such a thing? I'll go back to work then. You better do that. You haven't got much time left.
Tony always had weird tastes concerning flowers. A saddle-shaped box, a classic. He's blocking the way to the village center. Oh, it doesn't matter though. I'm going the other direction anyway. Hello, Hannock. Hey, um, uh, well, uh, Rufus. Ah, I'm really terrible with names. Is the tunnel closed again? Yes, we had another collapse in Sector 7. Another junk slide? All this trash is really driving me nuts. I'm glad I'll be gone for good soon. Are you? You bet. Well, I only know you won't be leaving through this tunnel. Did you see Tony anywhere? Tony? You're big, angry, breathes fire. My former girlfriend. Ah! Tony! Well, I guess she's down in her store, working, like everybody else, except you. I'll finally leave this junk heap of a planet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another one of your brilliant plans? This time, it's absolutely foolproof. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You being a fool and all. But I reckon you running around here has got nothing to do with any other problems. No, it hasn't. <laughs> well, good for you. I'll write you a postcard from Elysium. You go ahead and do that.